Welcome friends, my name is Brandon, also known as the Lethargic Sloth, and it's time to check out Azerbaijan at Eurovision 2024. Uh, it's no secret, I love Azerbaijan and their music and this contest, and pretty much love all the songs. Wasn't such a big fan of the song last year, but then again, I'm not really a Beatles person, and it was similar to the Beatles, inspired, I, I'm just not a Beatles that's not my my thing. Um, but I love Azerbaijan's music that they bring to Eurovision, and I'm excited to see what we have this year because apparently this is the first year we have Azerbaijani being the pr predominant language in the song. So let's check out the entry, and I'll let you know what I think. And I'm on the wrong page. Here we go. <laughs> I am me, after all. What a voice. The Muggum. There's Sue Azerbaijani. I'm like, where's Sue Azerbaijani? <laughs> Okay, well, what do I think of that? I think absolutely gorgeous piece of music. I love the writing. I love the composition. It's just it's so cool. I don't know if it's typical Azerbaijani style to, you know, this song, if this is, you know, something that's common, so maybe it's not spectacular. To me, it's spectacular because I'm not used to hearing it. I love this arrangement. I love the violins. I love the mugum. I love all the, the different components. Um, yeah, Azerbaijani is back. Uh, you know, last year I, I, I said I didn't love the song that much. Uh, this, this, is, this is what I like right here. This is why I watch Eurovision for stuff like this. Um, 
So let's talk about qualification. I would be so disappointed if this didn't qualify. It has to qualify. So if you like this song, if you like this music, vote for this, please, please vote for this. I think the jury could be kind, but who knows with the jury? You can't depend on the jury, so you have to pick up the phone and vote and actually try to push it through if you like this song. I really enjoy it, you know? It, lyrically, it's a little simplistic. It's not complex or, or crazy, but it's just another one. I, 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 I use the word with uh, Poland, atmospheric, beautiful, kind of entrancing a little bit, you know? It's really hard for me on these videos to, to, if there's a song I really like, I'm actually more quiet in general because I'm taking it all in and I'm absorbing what I'm hearing and just, you know, you see my eyes close, you see me sway to the music. Like, you can tell visually when I like a song. And so I think after watching that, you know that I like this song. It might end up in my top 10, we still have more songs to see. I really like that. I want that to qualify. This is this is like this is the type of song that needs to qualify. That needs to be in the final. That needs to be heard. I hope Azerbaijan that you get through and we get to hear this amazing song in eight days. I really do, because it certainly deserves it. There's a lot of like dance songs and. This stands out, so, uh, you know, at some point you got to think that the dance songs and such like that, they cancel each other out, so maybe that gives an opening for Azerbaijan to get in there. Uh, I can, again, I, I'll say it's similar to Poland. I could see it 5th, 6th, 7th, or I could see it, unfortunately, 10th, 11th, 12th. It just depends on if the Eurovision community gives it a chance. Um... Azerbaijan has qualified, I believe, 13 out of 15 times. So I hope there's not a streak coming uh, two years in a row. But uh, we shall see. I feel pretty pretty confident that this will make it, though, just because it sounds so unique and different compared to everything else at Eurovision. But that's my opinion. I really like the song. And Azerbaijan's always been one of my favorite Eurovision countries, bar none, you know, Azerbaijan and you know, Italy and Portugal and Norway. Yeah, I have, I definitely have countries where I expect good songs out of every year that I'm always super excited to listen to. And, and yeah, Azerbaijan delivered this year, in my opinion. So what do you think about this song? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is it too simplistic for you? You know, I can, I can understand criticism if you say composition's complex and beautiful or nice to listen to, pleasant, but lyrics simple. I understand. Like, it's not a crazy lyrical masterpiece, but it is a good atmospheric song that I would listen to over and over again, and that's why I like it. So, let me know what you think in the comment section below. For now, Lethargic Sloth, out. <laughs>